Hello, everyone. Uh, it comes with some Four Souls cards. Ooh, I really like Four Souls. That's like one of those games that like I always kind of forget is an option at like little game night get-togethers. And then someone's like, oh yeah, I have the Binding of Isaac card game. I'm like, oh fuck yeah, whip that out. That's always a blast. After we remember the rules. Because <laughs> the rules like aren't that, com the rules are not that complicated, but they're complicated enough to kind of like forget them before the next time. Because we play it so infrequently. But hey everyone, we're gonna get we're gonna do some spire today. Might be a shorter stream because I uh I have dinner tonight with the gal. Um because today, I mean this is like this is like simultaneously not that huge of a deal, but it's kind of important to me. Today is my one year anniversary of starting HRT. I have been on it consistently for one full fucking year, which is I uh, it's kinda just wild to think about. But we're not gonna linger on that too much. We're gonna we're gonna play some 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 Dragon Two: The Revenge of the Dragon. Steam Visual Novel Fest. I huh. I don't really play a lot of visual novels. I'm using the urge to say that it's the day after FNAF. <laughs> Shit! No! <laughs> oh my god. Um. But yeah. No. Well. Okay. So interesting thing about visual novels i don't really play a lot of them i think they're pretty good and i think a lot of people think that i have a very negative opinion on visual novels because back when i did visual games all the fucking time i would skip all the visual novels but that's just because they take a long time i think streaming visual novels you need to be a certain type of person who can like handle like just reading everything all the time and i am very not good at that oh is it working hold on Oh, perfect. Game is a bit loud. Uh, we'll have to change. We'll have to fix that when we get in the game. Oh, we really got thirty percent in. Like, well, then again, this game probably is like one hundred and twenty percent. Usually, the uh, the intro like screen is really loud, but like once we get in the game, it's gonna be pretty quiet. How is this? That actually looks like it's still a little loud. I'm gonna turn it down a smidge. Just turn everything down by like one. There we go. That should be less bad. Oh right, we're in a new area now. That's kind of a did it reset my fucking controls? No, okay. Alright. I just have to get used to it. I never I consistently always get like turned around with a uh, platformer like camera controls every fucking time. Also, hello? Crystal Glacier? This is just here. Okay, I need to warp back. Actually, no, I need to learn how to fucking climb, and then I want to go back to all those previous things. You are not late, GB. You are just in time. We literally just started. You have missed... not much. Uh... But yeah, no, like... It's... Regarding that thing I said earlier, like, one year is like... That's... That's just kind of wild to think about. I don't know. It's like... I, I kind of just, like, happened to, like, check, like, oh, how long ago was that? Because it felt like it was around this time of the year when I, like, went and first talked to, like, a person about it. And as it turns out, yeah, it was, it was really close. And uh, to celebrate, completely coincidentally, I got my hair dyed. <laughs> I now have full black hair. We're going to see how I like it. I think it'll go better with a lot of stuff that I wear. Oh, hi. How are you? What are you doing? Well done, Spyro. Huh? The power from your orbs has activated the whirlwind. What whirlwind? Oh, I'm glad that I did that. Well done, Spyro. Huh? I just got here. What is? Oh, oh, I don't want to go to Metro Speedway. <laughs> no, I don't want to do a Speedway level. I don't want to do a Speedway level. Uh, orbs? I did that. Hi, money bags. Legend has it that there is a portal to Zephyr here. And legend also has it that I know how to activate it. Whoa. But furthermore, as I recall, the legend mentioned something about me activating it for a, a small fee. Um, yeah, I have a Thanks lot. Thanks for the gem, Spyro. With all this cash, I can open a lizard burger shop in Skelos Badlands. Huh. I... would you... <laughs> the motherfucker really said furthermore. <laughs> There's a Zephyr in Texas that I used to go to, had like 40 people. Yeah, that sounds like a small town Texas thing. Small town Texas is like fucked, dude. Like, 
they're either like literally a gas station and like a general store or it's somehow like 80 different warehouses but no one fucking lives there okay this motherfucker better teach me how to climb so I can just immediately go back I don't want to do any of these stages until I finish the first area of stages I know that's like insane shit but come on summer forest wow All right, hey fucker well well I bet a rich dragon like you wouldn't mind cashing in a few gems what to learn happened? how to oh climb. God. I'd be willing to teach you for, say, oh, I don't know, a small fee. A small fee. You won't regret it. Okay, when you see a wall surface that looks climbable, like the one to my left here, just jump onto it and you will grab it with your claws. Use the left stick to move up and down. Press the jump button again to leap off. You could also jump sideways onto another climbable area. Okay. I really had to, like, pay you to- oh, oh. Okay, I see. Okay, this ain't too bad. That's really- I don't remember this being in the- the- I don't remember this being in the original. Uh, was this the place that I was before? I think, maybe, Summer Forest? I know Moneybag's voice actor from somewhere. It is super fucking familiar. I don't know what it's from, but I was also getting, like- voice actor flashbacks from him. I can't wait to look it up and it's like, yeah, he was in like all these pornos. <laughs> it's like, no, money bags. Okay. So I got that. Wait, does it tell me? Okay, cool. Glimmer. Oh my god, I have done like nothing in the actual fucking forest. Okay, this one has a thing that we gotta go to. He's in so many roles. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of voice actors that just like, they're just every fucking person from video Hi, games. Spyro. Welcome to Glimmer. Unfortunately for us, a yeah, no, we, we got this. I, I can... <laughs> I will handle the lizard. <gasps> did I not get this last time? Oh shit, all right, well, <laughs> how did I miss that? Implying y'all watch a lot of porn. I don't watch a lot of porn. I read a lot of porn. There's a big difference in Bellis. Oh, sorry, GB. <laughs> Shit. I, like, glanced over to the left, and I missed the fucking name. My eyes missed. To get off that topic, though, I have been drawing uh, a lot more, actually. I I've been... I, there's one thing that I've had a lot of uh, trouble with in art recently, and it's sketching shit, which sounds like an interesting problem to have. But like, uh, like in art, it's you need to be like, if, whenever you're doing commissions and shit, you have to basically like be kind of confident in doing, um, like sketch. How do I explain this? Whenever I want to start doing commissions, which should be very, very, very fucking soon, I know that I've been saying that for a long time, but I've just... I got very busy recently. I need to be able to send, like, the client, like, maybe three-ish sketches, like, really rough sketches of, like, okay, you wanted it, like, you wanted this kind of thing. Here are three ways that I can do it, like, before I actually, like, nail down and start doing, like, line art and shit that's gonna take me forever. Which one do you like more? And that's one thing that I think my weakest area is. I'm really bad at just, like, sitting down and sketching shit. So I've just been, like, doing that every single night. I've been, like... Well, every single night. But I've, I've been, like, sitting down and, like, setting up a little thing for me to sketch. And it's been really fun. And I've already gotten a couple really okay ones done. I think I'm getting better at it. Please don't tell me about the flight gate. Please... No! Okay. Apparently I missed a lot of shit on this level. That's kind of wild. 307 characters. That is a lot. Hold on, is there like something up here? No, I, I can't go up further. Okay. Um, I already spit on all the goblins. All that's left really is this like thing to climb back here and get all these gem lights. Frogs and cranberries, it must be fall. That's like my favorite picture. Head on up the ladder. Th thanks. I headed on up the ladder. Hey, great. You've got the 
Superfly power up active. Wow. Now you can light the gem lamps in this cave. Sure thing. I can absolutely do that. <laughs> it's very hard to do that voice. Great. You, you, you activated the Superfly power up. Now you can get all the gem lamps. Great job, Spyro. You're really cool. <laughs> That's so hard to do. Oh, I'm gonna run out of goo before I do this. Uh, wait, I missed one. Where was the sixth one? I totally just whipped it. Alright, hold on. I hope that reactivates them. Otherwise, I have a feeling I'm just gonna. They're gonna slowly start. Oh, I missed the blue one. Fuck! Got it. Is that Shaggy? Yoinks! Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. No problem. Wow, I was afraid we were gonna have to cancel tonight's baseball game. What? Here, somebody mixed this orbit with the baseballs. You play baseball in a cave? I guess it'd be pretty pretty hard to lose the ball if it just bounces off around cave walls and stuff. Okay, is this area done? Did I do this area? Oh. All orbs collected. Okay, hold on. I missed six gems. Where the fuck did I miss six gems? I bet there's somewhere really silly. Hold on. It might just be up here, actually. There's like a funny hole that I didn't go into. What is that noise that I'm hearing? Maybe the spit lizards. No! Uh... Anything on these cave cliffs? Wait a minute. Yo, I bet I know where it fucking is. Hold on. I bet you anything. Check this out. I bet it's through here. I bet it's like up on a thing through here. It's gotta be. Oh, I fucking maybe not, dude. They just shut me down as soon as I thought that was a thing. Wait, is this the right way? I totally went the wrong way. Unless I didn't? Is this the start of the level? Uh, yes, it is. There is definitely stuff back here that I missed originally. But I might not be able to get to it. Hold on. I thought it was up on like a little cliff thing over here. No? No. I guess not. Hold on. I don't see anything in this room. I think this room is cleared out. Unless there's something down here. No? Okay. Alright. It's always the last two gems that give me the most trouble. Because they're like on a rim of a building in the back of the level somewhere silly. Thanks for help. I don't want the talisman again. You already gave me the talisman. They're really heavy. If y'all see, if y'all see it, like, just somewhere that I missed, please tell me. Because that means that I just ran past it a couple of times, and I don't want to be stuck here all day. Okay, I already did you. Right, oh, hello? Here they are. Alright. I think that's it. No? There's one gem missing! Oh, no! <laughs> that's gonna be fucking impossible. I think the one gems are green, too, so they're probably on the fucking ground around here. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, maybe it's up there. I, I'm usually pretty go okay at, like, spotting stuff. I'm just... I don't know what it is. This level's turning my brain to catch up. Maybe it's up here. I didn't really look around up here that well. No. No goodies there. Oh, maybe it's in here. Hold on. Nope. Is it up on one of these cliffs? Does not look like it. I cannot go that high. Oh, hold on. This looks like a fucking thing, right? Like, doesn't this look like a thing that I should be able to break down and there's like a secret behind it? Oh, no. Okay. Maybe up here? Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> what color are value one gems, and are they green? And, and, and am I fucked? Or are they red? Because if they're red, I could probably find them. Okay, I can probably say that it's not in this room with like 90% certainty. I'm guessing it's in the cave room, because I didn't really explore that one super well. I bet it's in here somewhere. Okay. I'm pretty sure gems make like a sparkle sound effect too. Is it down there at all? No. Oh god. Don't see it. I doubt that these would have anything to do with them. Despite them being giant and tasty looking. Is it down here? Just around the corner? No. Oh no. Oh god. Okay, so I don't think it's up here. Unless it's like just behind the portal and I never checked. Oh, it literally is. Wow. Alright, got it. Okay, so we did that. So now, Sunny Beach had like fucking all of them were un unaccessible from uh, the start. This level had like four ladders or something in it. Okay. No, I don't care. I don't want to watch this cutscene. I don't care. The adventure continues. Hello. Alright. Hello. Go over there. Even in this room, like, all the stuff is above you. Oh, I didn't see that. Perfect. Okay, this is doable. Don't you dare zap me. How fucking dare you use your AoE magic on me? your lightning magic. Do you think you're here? No way. <gasps> the texture of the walls in this level is really bizarre. I don't know how to describe it. I know it's supposed to be like turtle shells, but it looks like a bunch of like sideways stacked cut logs that are like just a bunch of cinnamon rolls. I haven't had a cinnamon roll in a billion years. I really don't like cinnamon rolls. That was not me wistfully thinking for a cinnamon roll. That was me going, nah, I'm good. Is this thing open? Is this a thing? This feels like a thing that I'm going to be able to open up later. Okay. Uh, hello. Hello. Oh right, he has two hits. This is like the one enemy we have seen in this entire game that takes two hits, and it's in the random, like, beach baby level. Go. Touch. Thank you. Ow. How fucking dare you. Another one of these turtle things. Okay, th that has to be like, I get a power up later. No, 100%, because there's all these fucking, these things. Yeah, okay. That's that's gonna be a thing later. And these two, I probably have to go up the funny ladder that I saw. Oh, well, here's a funny ladder. Hello. Well, that's great and all, but... Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Is it like a second level up top? Mentioning magic reminds me that I love calling the abilities in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom spells. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what they are. They're basically spells. <laughs> Link magic. Oh, no, no. magically conjures bombs. I guess they're like basically apps, not spells. Link has the bomb app. Airport security would be a lot tougher if bombs could just be summoned from your fucking tablet. Okay. Yep, that's a thing that I have to do later. Okay, I need the super duper power up high. 
workers have captured most of our baby turtles. And the boxes they put them in are incredibly strong. With a more powerful flame attack, maybe you could break open the boxes and release them. Man. Wouldn't it be fucking wild if I had a more powerful flame attack? Miss <sighs> someday. Oh, if only you if only you could walk through this gate and save the fucking turtles, Spyro. Um, so here's the actual issue. Where the fuck is the the funny turtle that I have to like get over here? Why do these turtles look so different from the other turtles? Ball bomb, box bomb. Alright, um... Go. Oh, he really- okay, no. I'm gonna have to get, like, another one, I think. Is this also- this was also a gate, wasn't it? Can you- can you go through? Oh yeah, there's no way. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure that out. Unless there's just another turtle in here? Or- wait, I get it. Hold on, no, I get it. It, it's not gonna save the baby turtles from being locked away forever, but I can kind of just do that. Yeah, I did it. Yay. Did the turtles are saved? Okay. <laughs> you did it, Spyro. Uh, did I? They're, they're still stuck in that room. No, you did it. Shut up. They're fine. Oh, good job, Spyro! You fucking saved all the turtles! Uh, okay. Alright, hold on. There we go. Alright, so the only issue is... The other, um... The, dang it, the other, uh... Hello, Spyro? Use the triangle button. Thank you. The other ones are, like, back here? Is there another power-up through this? Or am I, like, silly? Because there's a box in here. Maybe there was another power-up that I just, like, missed. Hold on. Because there's... No? I thought there was one back here. There's one in the water. I bet if I book it, I can make it to that. Like, no problem. Let's give that a shot. I haven't done this in a billion, million, billion years. Okay, excuse me. Alright. I think I actually remember doing this one. This one was a pain in the ass. Okay. Dang it. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know if jumping while charging makes you go faster or slower. Probably slower. Oh, I probably already fucked that. Spyro. Spyro, please. Spyro. Oh god. Alright. There's one left, and I don't know where it is. I think it's past the the thing on this side. Alas, I could be very wrong. There is another ladder. Oh, excuse me. No, 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 no! No! Uh... Or is it there? It's just up there. Hold on. The camera is very close to Spire. I remember it not being this fucking claustrophobic. But I could be entirely wrong. Spire could have just looked smaller. Because of old graphics. PS1 graphic. I this is not the right way. Where is the right way? Is it in the hole? Is it in the shoal? It is not. Where do I go, Elder Turtle? Oh, up there, I bet. Hold on. <laughs> Shit. I did a really cool jump and then I just biffed it. Right, hold on. <laughs> How did I do that the first time? It's fucking. What is going on? There's like a little hover jump you can do, but Spyro just won't do it sometimes. I'm being tricked. I'm being japed and buffooned. Hello. Okay, up here. Hi. Uh, uh, uh. Where's the box? Where's the box? There is a box here, is there not? Hello? 
Spyro. Spyro! Damn it. I bet it's down there. That looks like it. Hold on. What the fuck? Wait, no, this is the way that it came from. Is it not? <laughs> this beach music is gonna actually drive me fucking crazy. <laughs> Alright, fucker. Let's open this up. It's also, it seems very loud. Hold on. There we go. Alright, I'm saved. I'm no longer gonna go crazy due to beach fever. No, keep moving. You're not allowed to stop. Go. Save the freaking baby turtles or whatever. Uh, is it in here? Nope. Well, there's a chef up there. Hello, never actually played Spyro. It is... okay. I, I really like the first one. I remember the second one being okay, but having some, like... Just having some padding. And I barely remember the third one. I remember the third one introduced, like, other playable characters, and that was pretty fun. But if I remember correctly, their areas kind of blow. Oh shit, there's one right here! Okay, alright, hold on, we got this. I can do this. This is just gonna take all of my gaming skills. This is the, uh, the remake that they released kind of recently. I kind of want to play the originals and see, like, how different they are, because I think I emulated the first game kind of recently. Better I just played the, the remake of the first game. I have a lot of nostalgia for the first game. I think some of the areas look absolutely fucking gorgeous still. Like, just mood-wise, they have such a vibe. But, you know. Alright. There we go. Most impressive. Please take this sacred thingamajig as a token of our everlasting gratitude. Whoa. His name is Gromit? Well, okay. Alright. Oh, I'm all the way back here. Mother Hubbard. Okay. Instantly destroys turtle with high pressured napalm fireball. Alright. I'm ready for the, the chef's challenge. Where's Wallace? Hello, young one. There's a chef up at the top of this cliff that wants to eat my ass. Please kill him. Hello. Turtle friends will make a very good soup if I can catch them. You can try to save them if you like, but I'm feeling awfully hungry. Why can't I just kill this man? Keep the turtles out of the cauldron. Why do they why do they crave the cauldron? What the fuck is wrong with these turtles? Why do they crave death? What the fuck do you mean? I'm awfully hungry. I also put turtle pheromones in the damn pot so they'll run into it. The call of the void? What do you mean? No, get the fuck in the water, you idiots. Why do, why do you crave death? No, get your ass out of here! No! <laughs> so you saved a few turtles. There are more where those came from. Here, take this off and go away. <laughs> Thanks. Quick, Spyro, use your fire to keep the turtles from being cooked alive! Oh, that's a good idea! Alright, fucker. Round two. I know you have a round two, unless... Wow, I bet there is turtle soup one. If you step any closer to the pot, I'll start ringing my bell again. It, it, does it hypnotize turtles? Wait, does that knock them farther? No, fucker. Fucker. Oh, that. Okay, that's way better. Okay, holy shit, that's much better. <gasps> no! Go! Oh. 
Why? What, what is wrong with these turtles? This is so fucked. I, <laughs> I've never seen something like this in a video game. Like, the only other thing that comes to mind is fucking Star Fox Adventures, where there's like a dinosaur that's like, Help! These creatures are trying to steal my eggs! And it's because she fucking laid her eggs on like a railroad track, basically, for these weird like snake lizards that only go on railroad tracks and are trying to eat her fucking eggs. I want to see a turtle go in a pot just to see what sound it makes. No, this is taking so long. Maybe I can purposely fuck it up, like, after words, but, like, no way, dude. Fucker, I hear another one, I hear another one. Get your ass in there. Rats, you saved every turtle on the beach. Here, take this. I was gonna use it to buy potatoes, but now I don't need it. Why don't you just eat potato soup? It's good. Potato soup is good. What a fucked mission. Did I, I am missing, once again, I am missing a gem on Sunny Beach. Okay. Where is it? Is it in here? Oh, it, it is. Okay. I'm missing more than a gem. I'm missing apparently a lot of gem. Buying potatoes with an emerald? Yeah. Like I've said before, this game... At least the entire Spyro series is the reason that I... Thank you! Thank you. Here, take this thing you already have! Uh, Spyro and Zelda are like the main reasons that I... Whenever I draw currency in a setting, it's always fucking giant crystals. Because like, why would I not make it big shiny gemstones that you can keep in a funny bag and jangle around? That is the only currency in my mind. Shiny things. Because who would not want that? So hold on. Is there... I'm missing... I am missing one singular gem. I am gonna lose my gourd. All right. If anyone sees it, this is your one fucking chance. Scream at me and point. Point at your monitor, it will somehow help me. <laughs> or just tell me in chat, because I don't want to be here all day. When it comes to things like this, I will absolutely take back seating. Okay, where the fuck could it possibly be? I bet it's somewhere really silly. I bet it's like at the top of that last ladder that I was on. Or it's in here, and that would be really fucked. Because there's no way that I could get in there. No, it's not in there. No way. I was gonna buy a potato! But now I'm fucked! All these suicidal turtles don't want to get in my big soup pot! Why? Why? What did- Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna- <gasps> There it is! Okay. I did it! Yeah. Alright. Is that everything? All that's left is the shit in Summer Forest, apparently? Ah! Points. No. No! Hmm. Whoa! Turtises! Toidles. Golly gee. I'm a dragon that loves to snooze. Oh my god, okay. Apparently I didn't do any of this shit. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like... Oh god, I don't like this. I don't like caves and ponds. They freak me out. What fucked up creature is going to be at the end of this? Aside from funny little frogfish. Hello? Oh, on the other hand, I love cool caves with water in them like this. This is very gorgeous. This is the opposite of scary for me. <gasps> yeah! Nice. Cool. That feels great. Uh... Now, can I go somewhere from here? Or is there just a bunch of shit in the lake? Okay. I have, not, I have barely gone in the water here because I got swimming like halfway through this stage and I only really explored the uh, second half of it with swimming, so that's probably where all the shit is. Okay. So... I already did Hunter's funny challenge, I think, but he looks like he's holding another gemstone. So I'm gonna go talk to him. Can I go in here? No, I, I cannot. Okay, how the fuck do I get to you? Past the frog leaps. 
It's just a short jaunt past Froggy Falls. Okay, have I already done this? Hello? I'm just taking a break right now. I've got a rest for the next big race in Ocean Speedway. Wow, cool, thanks. Okay, um... On a secret ledge? Okay, there's, there's like actual, like, secret secrets here, I see. Well... Let's look around. Uh... I guess I'll go back to the start. Because I didn't really explore that much. I guess I didn't explore this room that much either. Is there a place I can dive down in here? Nope. Doesn't seem to be much. I love the the visual design of this fucking zone. Is really fascinating to me. Just because it's like... I think the reason I like it so much is because we're operating off of PS1 uh, graphical limitations in terms of space. So the reason all these areas are so small and cozy is because in PS1 and PS2 era, they only had so much, like, physical space to put shit because it would take up too much, like, you know, like, memory space. So they'd make all these shit, like, try to feel, like, wondrous and stuff, but it'd be tiny. Like, in Spyro 1, the really big levels are super barren, and they had this cool trick where they, like, made shit, um, less graphically intense the further away it was. And I remember reading, like, some... It was, like, a new technology at the time on, like, some PlayStation Underground CD. I could be talking out of my ass. I really don't remember, like, what they were saying about it. But it was cool. Is there a secret behind the waterfall? There usually is. Alas, there is not this time. Um, okay. Can't go up the trees or anything. I think this first area is ruled out as having more stuff. So now this room. Is there anything I can do that I have not done before? The water is not diveable in here because it is shallow. No? Okay. So nothing in here. To be fair, I did, like, beat the last stage, and then they kind of just booted me to the next world, so I bet that last room in this area has a bunch of stuff that I just missed. This area is pretty much cleared out, too. I think I got this water down here cleared out. I could not. Let's just look around. Nah, this area is cleared out. Okay. Now in here, hello. Uh, I remember sucking this room's dick the first time I got into it, and I was like, oh, this room's so pretty, oh, holy shit. <laughs> We're not going to do that anymore. Uh, this feels like it should be something, but in reality, it's just a funny buzzle, buzzle button? Puzzle button. <gasps> here we go. All right, I have not gone here. Hey, Spyro, climb up this ladder. Uh Oh, well, there's one. It's just here. Okay. Thanks, I guess. Wait, is that it? <laughs> is there just a bunch of gems up here in a thing? Do I have to fly into the tree? No, the tree does not like it. Okay. Uh, there is... Alas, one more. Hello. Are you anything? Are you enjoying the active camera? No. Okay. No, I, I like the active camera mode. It kind of does stuff sometimes. It's kind of helpful in some situations, like when I'm charging, for example. What do you do? Oh, you just change which one of these I can go through. Is that... There's stuff up there. How do I get up there? Uh... Hmm... Bottom planes. Wait. Oh wait, no. This is the this is the next area, right? Yeah, that's the next area. Ooh, what are you? This is a boss. No, that's a boss fight. I'm not doing that. That's the hole they made me jump down to fight funny boss, Mick. Funny boss. Is there a way to get up there? Surely it is not just janking around. Maybe there is a... A thing? No.
Hmm. How do I get up there? Uh, hold on. I'm trying to like jankly hit it. Oh. Oh. Please, Spyro. <gasps> They knew! Alright. Oh, is it just over here? <laughs> no, 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 no. Surely that can't be it. This is the other room, right? Oh my god, I'm stupid. I just didn't turn around in this room. Okay. Well, see, that's a thing. Is there... Hold on. Can I fly around this corner and get that? I don't think I can, but I'm gonna have to try. Okay, that was absolutely it. Cool beans. Alright, I think that was this whole area. All orbs collected. Alright. I am missing two gems. Okay, let's go find those two gems. Oh boy, it's probably a green gem on a green background. So once again, anyone, if you see something, point and scream so that I can hear it. If enough of you scream, I might be able to hear it in real life. Golly goodness. I'm guessing it's in the water somewhere, because I didn't really explore that much in the water.
I like the idea of that game. I like the idea of digging up treasure and stuff, but I usually just get killed by someone who's like way better at everything than me and has like a ship fully stocked with stuff. And I'm there in my goober mobile carrying like two funny skulls and I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'm fucked. But the core gameplay is fun. I like going around and like fighting skeletons and digging up treasure and like trying to uncover maps like that. I like that. I like the core gameplay loop like they added a lot when the game first came out. Oh, is that it? Is that the last gem? Oh No, there's another red gem somewhere. That's the worst that could have happened. Oh H Hello okay. We did it Yay All right Autumn Plains, here we go. Yeah, I'm not big on PvP either. I mean, it, it depends on the game. I, I really like third person, or sorry, first person shooter. Like, kind of. It, I get really into Battle Royales for a while. I, I'm really into, like, Quake esque first person shooter. Like, um, the Dusk PvP was so much fun. Uh, there's recently a game that I saw, like, Friends vs. Friends, that looks pretty fun. I've been meaning to try that out. I'm meaning to convince people to get it. Rats Instagib was, like, probably the most fun I had in a very long time, but it's really hard to convince people to play that game, just because, like, it, it, like, no one fucking plays it, and it's like, yeah, here, buy this dead game to play with me and, like, three friends. It's like, yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Crystal Glacier. Get some cold in this summer. Ice creature man. Hey, McSpooch. What are they gonna do? Oh my god. Welp. That didn't work out too well. I can see why they're losing this fight. Spyro, the ice wizards have imprisoned our leader, Shaman Tuck. Can you help us rescue him? Sure. It is urgent. He has our tickets to tonight's hockey game in Colossus Valley. <laughs> what is with everyone being into hockey in this universe? Hi. Oh, I have to free them all, I see. You get on the catapult, we'll help you across the chasm. Okay. Sounds cool. Sounds fun. Anything over here? Doesn't fire breathe fire? Huh? What? Alright, do it. <laughs> That's fun. What are these creatures? What the fuck are they? What are you? You're disgusting. Kind of. I don't know what you are. Little guy. Oh, sorry. Just got up from a nap. Ah! I'm getting snowballed. Oh, you, uh, you don't like that. Okay. I have to fire you. Are you... Oh. I just feel bad about that. I don't feel good about what I just did. Sorry, we're just gonna like chaotically like run through this and breathe fire on everything, don't mind me. Sorry, sorry, oh, excuse me. Alright, you're next. Okay, alright, is everyone dead? <laughs> Hello? I I don't know what that that was very satisfying. Hold on. Ah! Oh, fucker! <laughs> okay. Mouthless Cubert? Oh I am Cubert. I have freed you all. Watch! We'll help you climb this wall up ahead. <laughs> hey Tony! I love their walk cycle so fucking much. Wait, what are they gonna do? <laughs> they made platform that's cute. Okay, hold on, I gotta kill Qbert again. Me me I feel so bad about that. I don't feel good about what I'm doing. <laughs> Hey, we'll help you climb this wall. 
Thank you. You really didn't need to do that, but I appreciate it. Huh? What the fuck did I just kill? I, I, I can't tell what that creature is that I just murdered. Oh, that's scary. What the fuck is going on down there? It's like a fucking Futurama alien. That does not belong in this level. That is a disgusting creature. What are these fucking- I wish I could get a good look at these things. What the fuck are they? Hold on, I'm gonna like... Try to dodge one. What are you? What the hell are you? Are you like a rabbit? With a fucking mouth made of ice? You bastard, what is this thing? It's gross! Oh, hey, money bags. Hanging out with the ice wizards? You bastard. You rat bastard. <sighs> ah, fucker. <laughs> How dare you. I bet this water kills me. I'm not even gonna touch it. Green water is not a good sign. Hi. Hello? Hello there, Spyro. I could arrange for you to cross this bridge for <clears throat> a small fee. What br to cross the bridge? Not yet. Okay. What bridge? Oh, I see. That br I see. He's gonna use his like evil magic to Okay, that's cool. What the fuck are you? Are you an enemy? What are you? Kill 18 abominations? I got that, sure. This whole area is infested with creepy tracklets. If you could fly, you might be able to help us get rid of them. Okay. Alright, I'll defeat 15 enemies. I guess I do have to pay... I guess I do have to pay money bags a billion dollar. Money man. I think I'm stuck down here, actually. Hold on, can I get up? This is- this bridge is fucked. There's something wrong with this bridge. Ugh. Creatures. How do I- oh god. Okay, how do I actually get back up? Am I fucked? Oh no, okay, right here. Hello? There we go. If you had a billion dollars, Spyro, I would let you cross this footpath. Do you have a bi uh, Do you have a billion dollars? No? Then fuck off. Spyro. Just a modest fee. Just a billion dollars. You have a billion dollars. <laughs> like how he gets scared that I was going to snatch his money. Spyro. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Spyro. Now I can buy that condo in Harakos I've been wanting for so long. Fuck you, money bags. The bridge. Why is he magic? Why does he have money-based snake powers? I don't like this. Who the fuck is money bags? Why does he want all this money? I mean, I guess he just told us why he wants the money. That's the least concerning thing. Hello, Ice Wizards. Ignore me, please, with your hit scan ice ball. <laughs> I juked you. Oh god, oh god, oh fuck, oh god, oh fuck, oh god, oh fuck. Oh. Thanks, Spyro. Just hold tight for a second and look out below. Okay. Oh my god, they can jump way higher than I imagined anything could ever jump. Oh hell yeah. Surely this can't go cartoonishly wrong. <laughs> I guess No! You'd think those guys could have got me out of here without rolling a two-ton snowball <laughs> onto my head. Here, take this crystal. I traded some hockey tickets for it. Oh no. Well, 
but that's the only reason they rescued you is because you had the hockey tickets. You're fucked. They're gonna roll another giant snowball at you. Alright, uh... Well, I guess time to figure out where to go from here. Because there's still a whole ass level. I guess actually, hold on, I might, that might have been enough enemies killed to activate that thingy. Yeah, he's super dead. <laughs> he's fucked. Uh, ooh, hold on. There's goodies over here. Goodies! Oh, a person! Hold on. Another shaman. If having a golden bone upon your head makes you a shaman. What did they kill to get a golden bone? And don't say a golden creature. I lost my pet snow leopard. I was busy fishing, and when I turned around, he was gone. I hope George didn't get eaten by the draklets. Bring back the snow leopard. I'll look for it. I don't really know what a snow leopard looks like, so... I mean, I know what an actual snow leopard looks like, but the... Ah! <laughs> I don't know why that scared me. Oh, hi! Well, I'll go that way. Well, that's not where you're supposed to go. No. Oh. Wait, if I get in front of you... Okay, I see. Hello? Why are you up there? Okay, that's fine. Okay, alright, sure. I got- don't go into the fucking goo. I swear to god. Okay. Creature. There you go. Girl dinner. No! N no! Hey, fucker! What?! Oh, do I have to do it in every one of these? This... Okay, I guess I'll do this. There, have girl dinner to the revenge. It's just gold-plated. Oh, they just went down to, like, Lowe's and got some gold spray paint. This is like, oh, I lost my snow leopard! It's literally around the corner. Check my DM. Hold on. James better not have sent me girl dinner, I swear to god. Oh, you happy? You, you dissatisfied? You following me now? Are we going home? What did you fucking send me, James? Hold on. <laughs> I love him! Oh my god, James just sent me like a low-poly frog. Wait, did you make that frog? My man. Hold on. <gasps> Falkfire! 29 months! That is almost a year, actually. I learned how to count. Just to make sure. Oh my god, I love him. I love his fr his 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 feet are a little terrifying, but I like him nonetheless. He has suction feet. All right, come on, creature. Let us return to your bonehead. Hey, I found your creature. I just wanted dinner. You found George. I'm so glad he's safe. I'll be sure to pay more attention to him from now on. All I have with me is this round, shiny thing I caught while I was fishing. You can have it if you like. Yeah, I'll take it. Thanks, pal. <laughs> hey, I just found this shiny thing. The infinite power of the sun conjures before him. Hey, you want it? <laughs> ah! Alright. I think it's time for that fucked up mini game. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Okay, everything's fine. I went to take a swig, a swig of coffee, that's why I started coughing. Uh, okay, I think it's time. Time for this fucking mini game. We used to give guided tours of these caves, but now they're infested with multiplying draclets. It's only a matter of time before they take over our whole village. Do you think you can get rid of them for us? Doc Ox Tritium. You want it? <laughs> sure. Looks too scary. Great. But remember, you have to catch them all quickly, because if any are left alive, they will continue to multiply. 
Yep, yep, yep. I got this. And I'm already fucking this up. It's fine. It's cool. It's fine. It's literally okay. Just don't pay attention to the gems for the first run. Just get all of them now. Girl spider. Hey! This one's respawned at the end. You have saved us all from a grisly fate. What? Please accept this orb as a small token of our thanks. Okay. God, it's such a ridiculous effect. Oh. We put all the particle effect budget in this orb. You can have it if you want. Uh. Yay. Gems, 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 gems. <laughs> I think... Oh, that's all of them. Is that everything on this stage? Nice! I did it. I'm leaving. The adventure continues. In very shiny letters. This is what I base the... This is what I, I commissioned James to base the, like, stream starting soon letters off of. It was the Spyro letters. I probably said that like 40,000 times, I apologize. Wait a minute, is this the... is Skelos Badlands? I remember one of these stages being the, the skateboard stage. It might be Zephyr. I think it's... I think it's the Badlands though, hold on. I know that it was like a Greek-inspired stage, so... We'll see. This one does not sound Greek-inspired. Did Rare make this? No. I don't believe so. Wow, evil. I don't actually remember who made um the original Spire. Oh, I remember these guys' sticks, though. Hey, what's good? Hey, Dragon. I hear you're pretty tough. I bet my cousin Glug, you wouldn't be able to make it through the Badlands without getting singed. Uh huh. Is that a challenge? I I just kind of took a guess that that was an enemy. Welcome? Is that what you wanted? Why do you have a VHS recorder? Why do you actually have a VHS recorder? Hello? Sir? Why do you just have a modern fucking recorder? Like... Alright. <gasps> do the cactus- Oh, They don't do the thing. The cactuses in Spyro 1 would have just shaken that off and been fine. Hello, fire wizard. Me spit. Hello. Why do they have VHS recorders? Is this gonna be some? This is gonna be some joke. It's gonna be like, oh, finally we can go back to making home movies on VHS. Eh. <laughs> That's so fucked. They're stuck with VHS recorders such primitive times. <laughs> I miss my old VHS recorder camera. I mean, it was like eight millimeter or something. It wasn't a, it wasn't like proper VHS. Why not? You know what? Good point. Why not? I had a, I had something. It was like a little, like you could turn it into a VHS if you really wanted to, but like, all right, hold on. These, these spitball things. Can I crack that open with a spitball? Or is that not a thing? Give. I actually remember this stage. The only reason I remember this stage is because of this mechanic and because of that fucker right there. I remember those enemies, because I remember that animation. They'd like balance that thing on their head and then like chomp it. And it made me really want to chomp a bone. Well, that didn't work. Hello. Spyro, our village is being overrun by lava lizards. <laughs> Can you get rid of them before they eat my little buddies? 
I'll lower the bridge for you so you can get over there. I can probably do that, Lumpy. Cross the bridge, save the villagers. Are they these egg things? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh, it's one of these. I see how it is. Oh my fucking god. You rat bastard lizard. You are with Spyro! Spyro, what are you doing? Spyro! What the fuck, Spyro? Oh my god. I, can't, I literally can't believe this. Are you fucking me right now? I feel like, just throwing this out there, feel like I didn't exactly uh, have a chance to do that one. Well done, Grasshopper. Take this shiny uh, thing we found to aid your journey. I'm glad that the only, like, interesting thing in this world are these fucking things. Uh-oh! It looks like more lizard eggs are dropping <laughs> down! Are you ready for another challenge? <laughs> what the fuck?! Is this just a daily occurrence? What do, what do they move?! Oh my god. Okay. God. Fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, can I try again? Yeah, okay, all right. I don't want to see the cutscene of the lizards dropping the eggs. He, he, he. <laughs> this is such a, these asshole dinosaurs. What the fuck? I literally didn't even know where that one was. This is a really annoying minigame, actually. This is just fucking trial and error. I like how they hash fully ready to fucking kill, too. Rat bastard. Oh. Thank you for helping us again, Spyro. <laughs> you deserve another shiny thing. I was going to use it as a nightlight. <laughs> I've been fascinated by the subject of human progression lately. There's a lot of evidence suggests that people don't do much or change unless their environment demands it. These people are in hell. <laughs> You watch Spyro for the game slash streamer. I watch it to understand the context behind all the Rule 34. We are not the same. Do you think there's fucking context behind the Rule 34? No, there's no context. The context is that there's one character that has kind of an ass maybe in one fucking scene. And then for the rest of time, people draw them with huge fucking birthing hips, okay? There's no context. That's it. Welcome to hell. I really hope that wasn't the first thing that someone heard when they fucking clicked on my stream. With my luck, it 100% fucking is. Good World 34 has no context. Creature fucking eliminated. Bone obtained. I need... I need lots of bones. Okay. Yeah, the context is really just like, Oh no, I got stuck in the dishwasher! Oh no, I got stuck in the dishwasher while washing all my dragon clothes! I sure hope Hunter doesn't take advantage of this. There you go, that's it. That's the... Uh, bastard. That's the context. There is no context. All of these boned? No. No, 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 no. Between tasks. 
You're fine. You need to collect eight bones, apparently. This is a big stage. I'm guessing I can't kill these guys with a regular fire, considering they, they're putting these everywhere for me to use. Flicking meaning what exactly? <laughs> I'm gonna take a while to bust through. Oh my god, okay. Creature fucking eliminated. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna confess something really dumb. When I was a kid, a little, a little idiot babu, I, uh, hello. Um, how do I get that bone without dying? I guess I just die a little bit. That's fine, I suppose. Um, I thought these looked really tasty. They looked a little bit different in the in the PS2 or whatever, but I was like, man, I really want to eat one. That looks really tasty. Like just seeing Spyro fucking chomp them like jawbreakers and like hold them in his mouth, like hmm, cheeseburger. Like I don't know it. They, it made them look tasty. It's like the leaves in Land Before Time or the bugs in Lion King. Like, there's no reason that they should have made them look delicious. It's hard to explain. Also, uh, how the fuck am I gonna... Oh. Hold on. Are you kidding me? Do I gotta fucking, like, no-scope this? What did I awaken an ancient memory in you, Falkfire, of the bugs from the Lion King, or the leaves in Land Before Time, or the uh, let's see what else? What was another thing that was like mm, garbage? Like that? That would no. Like literally, like most kids had those thoughts of those like the slot, the the cracker in that one movie with the mice. I literally do not remember what the fuck it was, but it's like there's some movie with a mouse and they like, they dip a cracker in like some milk or something and they eat it. And it, it looks really fucking good, but like, it's just a cracker in milk. I don't know what the fuck it was. I don't know what movie it was. It might've been like the Aristocats or some fucking thing, but it was like a, an impoverished mouse family digging into a milk and cracker dinner. And they made it look like the tastiest thing in the fucking world. Was it Aristocats? Okay. I wasn't sure. Or quit shooting boss things at me. Hello? Oh, I missed. Missed Gato. Did I miss again? Oh my god, this guy is cold as ice. Edgar made them for the kittens. Yeah, that was it. There's a lot of shit like that. If you go back and look at a bunch of old movies, like 90 fucking percent of them have like a weird food scene where they're eating like some fucked up sandwich that's not supposed to, like, it's supposed to be, like, weird food, or, I don't know. Like, like, the bugs in The Lion King, like, that that, that wasn't supposed to be tasty, because it's like, ew, they're eating bugs. But they just made them look tasty. What is this? Ice breath? No, really, what is this? Am I just, like, oh, I get it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this newfound power. Oh, I guess go up here. Uh. Um. I, gu I guess I'm just supposed to go up here with that newfound power. Probably kill that guy and then grab the bone. No, I, I did not eat bugs because of the Lion King. I never ate bugs. I, I knew they were gross. Just the Lion King bugs, they made them look tasty. I would not eat bugs as a kid. I don't think I actually ate anything gross as a kid, now that I think about it. I was actually quite a... I wasn't a picky eater. I, I was a little bit of a picky eater, but it was with really weird things. Like, I wouldn't eat butter. I thought butter looked like the grossest shit in the world, and I didn't want to eat it. Um, 
Uh, what else? There was another one that was weird. That was probably the weirdest one. I just wouldn't eat butter. Yeah, scorpion lollipops, yeah, this, that's like actually a thing. I'm trying to think what the fuck, like, my picky eater thing was, because, like, I wasn't really that bad. I never, like, required the crust to be cut off sandwiches, or, like, didn't like spinach, or whatever. I usually really like spinach. Even as a kid, I thought spinach was, like, the best. Um... I'm trying to think. I guess I just wasn't really a picky eater. I didn't like fish that much. I still don't like fish. It, it, it depends on the kind of fish, but I really don't like just standard fish. Like, I, I don't mind fish and chips. I don't mind, like, you know, fried fish. I think that's okay. Baked fish kind of just fucking blows because it's, like, slimy. James has made some really good fish, though. James is... The thing is, like, James and I had opposite opinions on a lot of food, where James really didn't like soups and stews, and I really didn't like fish. And James made a fish dinner one night out, and was like, hey, you want to try it? And I was like, I don't really like fish, but sure, I'll try it. And it was really fucking good. James made me, like, a really, really, really good dinner, and I liked it. And even though I normally don't like fish, it's because he actually fucking made the fish good. <laughs> I'm like... Unlike one of my parents, which shall be, which shall be, remain unnamed in case they're listening. <laughs> so I hope they're not. But um, and James didn't like soup and stew. James really didn't like that. And as it turns out, he had the same issue where like his parents would not make good soup and stew, and I would because I'm, I'm fucking cool and I love soup and stew. Hello. I'm so sad. Those pesky lava toads have stolen all my friends' bones. <laughs> if you help me put them back together again. It sure be more fun. <laughs> he stole his bones. Oh, this corpse? This fucking corpse next to you? Okay. Well, I know where the last one is. I just can't get to it. Oh? What the fuck is this? Okay. Oh, oh okay. I, uh, I'm hurt. I'm real hurt. Hey, bring me to life. So how the fuck am I gonna get up there? Let me get the, the armor, the protection spell that's just handily put here. And then I bet, hold on, I have an idea. I bet I can hop up here and like glide to it. Uh, no fucking way. Oh, I know what I have to fucking do. Hold on, this is brutal. I bet that I have to fucking... Okay, well this is- Fucker! Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. Okay, am I like actually fucked? No, okay, I can go this way. <laughs> the hover just sometimes doesn't work. I made some bomb-ass soups at my last job and recently want to find out how to make smaller batches at home. Boneless gang. Mexican restaurant soup? I, uh... I... No, I make really good soup. I, um... I made chicken stew recently. Well, recently. It's been a little while. And it's really fucking good. I know chili doesn't count as a soup, but, um... I kinda count it, because, like... It, you kinda cook it the same way, where you have to, like, let it hang out for a while, and that's what, make it, what makes it taste good. Um... Uh, what else? What other kind of stews have I made? Is this a thing up here? Oh god, I feel like I should not be doing this. Thank you, Spyro. <laughs> now I can put my friend back together. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. Okay. Are you actually... left it with me a little while ago. Okay. He's dead, though. Are you fucking me? Why? Why is he... Why? <laughs> Why? How old is this game? The music got really good for a second though. <laughs> Why did it come back to life just a Fortnite dance? Wait, that happened as a kid? That happened in the old game? I do not remember that at all. 
Oh my god, okay. So the only thing that's left is like all that stuff right there that I don't know really how to get to. I bet I can fly to it actually. It's just gonna hurt a little bit. It's fine. I'm not gonna have the armor power on it, so I'm just gonna be fucked. <laughs> eee, Spyro, you piece of turd! Oh my god. Uh, Texas Chili Heart, East Coast Chili, eh, out of 10. I don't actually know what East Coast Chili, uh, is, like, comparatively. What is East Coast Chili in terms of, like, how it's proportioned? Because I know Texas Chili, at least from what I've experienced, has, like, beans and stuff. Is East Coast Chili the kind that doesn't have beans? I promise I'm not doing this on purpose. Like, genuinely, I feel like you can't do the little hover maneuver sometimes, and I don't know what's causing it. No, it's bean soup, no meat. That is not chili. That's bean soup. Okay. Texas chili has meat and beans. Um, I know there's some chili that just doesn't have beans. Which is like, I, I can deal with that, but it's definitely like for a different kind of dish. Alright. Where was that fucking jar that teleported away magically? I thought I was in this cave. Maybe it's up here, hold on. No? Oh, I know where it is, hold on. Uh, we had really good red brisket chili Texas style, and it was so good. You can tell because I said it was good twice in one sentence. <laughs> can't do chili with beans, I just don't like the texture of them. Also, a complete wimp who can't handle spice. Typical Brit. That's fair, though. I mean, look, I am of the opinion that if you don't, if you can't handle spice, that's not really your fault. Like, I'm not gonna be like, wow, you can't handle spice, that's so fucking lame. Honestly, it's just a shame, because there's a lot of really good food that has, like, a lot of spice in it. I have a lot of trouble handling uh, Indian style spice because like, I like a lot of Indian dishes, but holy shit, that, that stuff gets real fucking spicy, like real quick. Um, same thing with Thai food. Thai food also gets really fucking spicy. And it's like, I know my limits. I will, I will only go halfway up the spiceometer at Thai and Indian restaurants. Because I know after that, it's like, like, abandon hope all ye who enter here. It gets really fucking wild really quick. Um, I kind of wasn't paying attention to where that one went. Hold on. Is it here? Oh! That's cool and all. How do I get up there? Like, how, how do I- how do I get up there? My roommates can't spicy at all. It's kind of a shame. I, like, I get why people can't handle spicy. And to an extent, I was humbled very early in life about, like, because there's, like, a type of dude, I don't know how to explain this without being mean, so I'm just going to be mean because they deserve to be, to have someone be mean to them, who, uh, they rate their masculinity by how spicy of food they can handle. Everyone has met this person at once in their life. They are the person who will order the spiciest thing on the menu consistently because they feel like if they don't, like, they're weak or something. I literally don't get it. Like, it is the most bizarre fucking thing. Um, and I used to kind of, I used to be like that. I'm not even gonna, like, say kinda. I used to be like that 100%. When I was young, I would, like, always order the most spicy thing on the menu because... I was like, yeah, no, I gotta be badass and do this. If not, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot lame -o. I, I don't, okay, I'm missing something here, clearly. Because there's a thing there, but how do I get up there? Is there like a secret passageway that I just missed? I usually order the spicy stuff because otherwise I eat too quickly. That's a good reason to do it, honestly. The spicy food diet. I'm on the seafood diet. I can only eat seafood. 
Hold on. That's not how that joke goes. Uh... But no, I used to always order the spiciest thing on the menu, and I was like, yeah, I'm a badass. Look how cool I am. I eat the spiciest thing on the menu all the fucking time. Everyone loves me because I eat really spicy food. And then one day, I went to Firehouse Subs. Now, Firehouse Subs used to have this thing. I think they kind of stopped doing it because of COVID. But they used to have this thing where they'd have a giant, like, shelf of hot sauces that you could try. Because, like, you'd order a sub there, and they'd be like, hey, you know, like, if you want, you can have, um... Excellent. Hold on, let you me just do this. You through the Badlands. I knew I'd win that bet. My cousin Gronk is a fool to bet against a dragon. Take this talisman for helping me out. Okay. I see food, I eat it. Golden bone! Thanks. But, um... Yeah, so Firehouse Sub used to have, like, a big shelf of spices, and they'd be all rated, like, oh, yeah. Wait, is this literally just here? What the fuck? Anyway... It was like, oh yeah, you know, there's like the, you know, you can try all these different hot sauces. They're all different levels of spicy. You just put them on your sandwich, whatever, right? Like, it was just a nice little gimmick because like their subs are pretty good, but like, they're not like the best thing in the world. They're just nice. They're just like okay hot subs. But the little fact that they had all these different hot spices that you could try kind of made it. So I got whatever sub I usually got and I was like, oh, I'm going to be a badass. I'm going to get like the hottest spice because I would always do that. And there was one that was a 10, and I'd never seen a 10 before. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna eat that because I'm a badass. Um, and uh, my parents was like, hey, why don't you just try the like, why don't you just try like a drop of that on some of your chip first to, to see how you like it before you put it all over your sandwich. And I was like, I don't need to do that, I'm a badass, but sure, whatever, I'll listen to you. And I did it. And then I curled up into a ball, uh, but no, and then I, um, put it on a chip, and I took it, and it was the grossest fucking thing I have ever eaten in my entire life. It was genuinely the nastiest fucking flavor of anything. It was so bad, and it was so hot. It was just, it was just awful. It was fucking horrible. Like, there were no upsides to it. It was the nastiest, like, spiciest, just, and it wasn't even fun spicy. It was one of those fucking types of hot sauces that are like, Inferno Ivan's butt blasting fire ant brigade of hell. It'll make you come fire. It's like, okay, cool. But it doesn't taste like anything. Oh my God, home movies? What is he doing? America's funniest home videos ass moment. Um. But yeah, so it was really bad. Um. We used to make a witch's brew, but it was actually good because we put in pineapple and seasonings. What the fuck is witch's brew? That sounds good. Uh. Step bone brother, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, I got humbled from that experience because it was terrible. And I realized that some hot spices, some fire, like, hot sauces are bad and they suck and they're fucking terrible. And they will always be terrible because they are not made to be tasty. They're made to be fucking spicy and they're made for the kind of people that I used to be, which is like, oh, yeah, I'm a badass. Like, I'm, I'm just going to eat this spice because I'm a badass and everyone should respect me. No, don't. Look, d do yourself a favor. Don't do that. Just just stick to something that's really tasty and makes your life better. I now know my favorite hot spice. My, my favorite hot sauce, I have two. I like, hold on, this is important. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm sharing growth with all of you. Let me look up the two, my two favorite hot sauces. Um, let's see, what the fuck was it? Uh, is it Bull Whip? It's Bull, bull Whip hot sauce. One of them has, like, a cute girl on it. Yeah, there it is. Uh, I wish I could find an image of it. That isn't fucking terrible. Why are all these pictures awful? No, apparently no one can take a good picture of these fucking spice bottles. Okay, maybe this is it. Hold on, open image and new tab. Don't use the wallpaper! And then, um... Is 
Is it? Hold on. I can never remember the... Komodo... Hello? Uh... That's not it. It's not Komodo gold. It's something gold. <sighs> Shit. Oh! Iguana gold. That's it. Iguana gold and fucking um, the other one. Let me let me see the pictures of both of these, because I, I I like full heartily recommend these hot spices. So these two, I'm gonna have to save these to a uh, a folder. So here's iguana gold. Web P. This better fucking work. All right. Is this also a web P? I swear, Christ. Fucking course, it's not. Thank God. All right. These two hot sauces are my absolute favorite, and I recommend them to everyone. They're not that spicy. Um, if you really don't like hot spices, you might not be able to handle these still. Because, And I don't want to be responsible for you being in pain. But this one, if I can get it to fucking... God, why is it so big? Uh, Barnacle Bullwhip. Fucking Bullwhip. This is really good. I like this hot sauce. Uh, and where's the other one? Where the fuck is the other one? I saved it in this folder. Here's Spyro grossly licking his chops in the background. Here it is, Iguana Gold. These two. These two are like my absolute favorites. Um, I don't know how to explain why I like them a lot. Iguana Gold looks way spicier than it is. Iguana Gold is like actually the perfect spice level in my opinion. Um... Bullwhip is not as spicy, I'd say. It has like a different kind of burn. But Bullwhip is a lot more rich. And Iguana Gold is a lot more like light and fruity. It's hard to explain. They're both fantastic. If anyone ever likes, if you like hot sauce, if you're a hot sauce enjoyer, and you see either of these in the wild, they're not that uncommon. I'd recommend them like wholeheartedly. They're absolutely my favorites. Someone gave me one of them as a birthday gift one year, and I was so fucking happy. I think that was you, James. Were you the one that gave me, like, a bunch of fucking... Iguana Gold one year? It might have been Suds. Melinda's Ghost Pepper Sauce has a sweet flavor despite not having sweetener or sugar. I'm gonna write that down, because I want to try it out. Uh, sorry, I... I'm like... I really like trying out new sauces and stuff, and this is going to sound a little crazy. The reason that I like it when people recommend... Chalu is really good. Um, Melinda's Ghost Pepper Sauce. The reason that I like collecting all these and like trying to find ones that are new that people like is because I like putting them in soups and chili. Because you can put a little bit of each in soups and chili, and it it just slightly alters the flavor of, like, the broth or the, um... I guess chili is, doesn't really have a broth. It's just kind of meat sauce. And it, it's, it's real good. It's really nice. Anything that can, like, slightly alter my chili. I'm trying to make the perfect chili. <laughs> Which I know sounds crazy, but I, I, I really... For a long time, I was obsessed with making a, an amazing chili recipe. Oh my god. What? Why do you have a bucket freak? What is the enemy of this level? A bucket creature? What? Ooh, yeah, no, 100% put in ramen. Are you an enemy? Oh, you are an enemy. Go to hell. Disgusting creature. Okay, well that was a thing. Where the hell do I go from here? Oh, over here. Hello. Please excuse the mess, Spyro. We are currently suffering from a land blubber infestation. First they put out the fires in our boilers, and now they've shut down our ship too. Okay. What is a land blubber? If you could stoke up the fires under the boilers, I'm sure you could make your way to the ship. The steam from the boilers will activate our highly advanced machinery. Okay. 
Yucca uh, Teco's normal chili habanero middle spicy sauce. I'll have to look that up. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just write that down right now because I ate shit immediately. Hold on. Uh, Yucca Teco. Is it spelling that right? Yucca Teco normal. That's not how you spell normal. Normal chili. really nothing fancy. That's the point, though. I need to find the ones that just have a good-ass flavor. They don't have a fucking, like, oh, this is, like, the best fucking thing ever. It's so good. It's really epic. Is this... How do I activate this? Wait, is it this that I have to activate? Oh. I see. I see. It's magic. Wild. Okay. I... What the fuck is that enemy? Alright. I'm just gonna leave you to your own devices then. Floating ball guy. Fucked up floating guy. What a... Wh oh, I... Okay, I get it. What the fuck is that enemy? Oh. I bet I can get him. I just gotta keep genuinely aiming. Er, yeah, fuck you! Is there another one? Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, I did that. Uh... I don't see any other ones. Hold on, can I get this bastard? <laughs> uh. Well, alright, that was a thing. You! Oh, there's no fucking way. Unless I can, like... I can't believe I actually hit that. Okay. That was a thing. Can I get up here? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I do not remember this level at all. I, 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 I do not recall these freaks enemies. They're horrific looking. I don't like the spiky ball guys. I don't like the land blubbers. Not a fan. Lava! Why aren't you using the lava to run your boilers? Why are these things fucking compelled to put out fires? What, why is there only fucking modus operandi to put fires out? Hello. Those land lovers have littered these metal spike mines all over the harbor. If you can clear them out, I'll give you this orb I found in a clam yesterday. Okay. I can, I have mean, kind of been doing that already. Uh... Uh, uh, there we go. Okay, well, where are the other ones? I pretty much killed all the ones already, like, here. Because I shot them from the other area that I wasn't supposed to be at. Uh, alright. Guess that's all I can do over here, I think. I can't really get up there. Hmm, okay. A boat! You fucker! Don't abandon me here! Okay. I want those giant shiny gears. Okay. Creatures destroyed. Creatures defeater. Uh. Oh god, okay. Oh, hello. What are these fucking things? What, what? These are, like, the most disgusting enemy I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't know why I hate them so much. Thanks, Pyro. Here's that orb I promised. 
sorry if it still has clam juice on it. Yum! I love clamato. I know my secret for tasty, tasty ramen was to, uh, like, when you're making the broth for the ramen, put in garlic. What was it? Garlic? What were the three things that I put in? It was, like, garlic, ginger, and something else. I think it was just some kind of oil. Before you put in all the aromatics and, like, vegetables. Because the ginger... I really like ginger and ramen. Ginger and ramen stock is, like, life-saving. You have to put it in really fucking early, though. Otherwise, it'll taste, like, too medicinal. It's hard to explain. I really like ginger. Ginger is amazing. Put it in the freezer, wrap a paper towel around it. It'll last fucking forever. It's kind of a pain in the ass to, like, actually prepare the ginger, because you get to scrape it with, like, a little, um, cheese grater thingy, and I always fuck up my knuckles on those. Oh! I thought I was fucked for a second there. I had a small portion of vegan mac and cheese for dinner, but it wasn't enough, and y'all are making me more hungry. I'm so sorry. I, uh, I'm getting... I, I have a, a funny haha -ha anniversary dinner to go to tonight. And I'm very excited. Oh! Oh no! Creature fucking spotted. Destroying. Destroying. Destroy. <laughs> <sighs> I don't think that did anything, but I feel better about doing it. Oh, what is that? Yo, I'm gonna go over there. Hold on. What does this do? Oh! How lucky for me that you came along! My machinery is broken, and the gears I need to repair it are scattered all over the tracks. <laughs> Can you hop on that trolley up there and collect them for me? Sure. 50? Oh my god, okay. Sure thing, pal, I'll get them. Anniversary of what? I already said, I already said on stream, it's been a year since I've been on HRT. Oh my fucking god, it's one of these. Can I jump? Okay, I guess I have to. TNT boxes? Why are these here? Who would do this? Holy fucking shit. Oh my fucking... What? Trouble with the trolley, eh? Hey? Well, use the left... <laughs> what the fuck is this? I was so not ready for that. Okay. Uh. Uh. Oh god, oh fuck, oh god. Okay, alright, I see how this works. It's one of these. Alright, okay. Alright, pal. Hey, stop it. Oh god, oh fuck. Oh god, oh fuck. Ah! Trouble with, Trouble with the trolley, eh? Do they all reset? Do these gears reset every time I'm gonna fucking puke. Oh my god, okay. But yeah, no, it's the one year anniversary of me starting Funny Girl Pills, which I know doesn't seem like that. I don't know, it, it feels significant to me. And. My girlfriend's like, yeah, we should go get dinner. And I was like, yeah, we should go get girl dinner. So that's gonna be fun. I already mentioned it once this stream. I'm sorry for folks that have already heard that. Uh, uh, uh. I don't like this. <laughs> what the fuck? How did you scatter them like this? Why are these so perfectly fucking scattered, you rat bastard? I scatter them all over the track, Spire. You gotta go get them. No, please, go get them, though. Oh my god. Oh god, oh fuck. Who's operating these cranes? Uh, I, I don't know where the last ones are. Uh, uh, what? Uh, why? Why would they do this to me? The cr 
green wine? <laughs> Shut up. Oh, God. <laughs> Fucking crane wires, you bastard. Oh, uh, didn't mean to do that. I guess I'm this way, though. This is such a- this is such an unhinged minigame. I li like, you know, who? Who would do this? Who would invent such a fucking thing? Get that TNT out of my fucking face. Oh my god. No. Alright. Okay. I'm fine with this. Alright, you rat bastard. I see you. Okay. What? Shut up, I'm not having trouble with the trolley. I'm having trouble with everything else that's on the trolley aside from- Who would invent this fucking thing? This is so awful. Trouble with the trolley, eh? Yeah, I don't know why all the mechanical crane arms try to fucking kill you whenever you're on the trolley. Sorry, Spyro. OSHA regulations say that we need to have at least 12 death traps on the trolley. Fucked idiot. No! I I don't remember this minigame. I I I it's like what the fuck is this? Who would do this? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, okay. Uh, there was a minigame like this in ukulele and it was fucking awful. Yeah, this is awful. This is terrible. No, 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 you rat bastard. Okay, fucking... Okay, alright, we're here now. Okay. Um... Okay. Better fucking not. Oh. That was great work, Spyro! Now I can start fixing my machines! Here. I don't have room in my toolbox for this thing anymore. Thanks, Fisher the Breeze Builder. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, cool, and we saved. Alright. Well, I am gonna call it here. But I gotta get ready for dinner tonight. So thanks everyone for hanging out. Uh tomorrow is Thursday. I am most likely gonna be maybe returning to Monster Hunter? Imagine if I jumped over that last cog. That was like literally like running through my mind when I saw that last cog was kind of behind a jump thing. But yeah, that's it for now, everyone. Bye.